The wind in wide open Wyoming can be brutal, but instead of cursing it, power companies are harnessing this nearly constant supply of clean energy. As these wind farms grow and expand, they're going to need trained technicians, folks that understand the particulars about why this turbine does what it does. Run the studs all the way in and then get the nuts and go every other one. With help from the National Science Foundation, Laramie County Community College in Cheyenne has expanded its technical training with a program in wind energy. Program director John Lamori says there's heavy focus on safety and teamwork like these drills. Okay, here Brent's going to perform a ladder rescue on the victim that is either unconscious or hurt on the ladder. Brandon is going to demonstrate self-evacuation in the event, for example, if there was a fire and you needed to escape rapidly and you couldn't go back inside. It's very exciting to do this because you actually know that you could be doing this in real life or using this stuff to save somebody. Students are put to the test early on to see if they can handle 300-foot heights. Two weeks into the program, we come out here to the Happy Jack Wind Farm. We have the students all outfitted with their personal protective equipment, and we climb a turbine for the first time. They're motivated afterwards, they really like it. Wind power adds energy flexibility to a state already known for coal and oil resources. And we think that uh, with the federal government's push on, on renewable and alternative energy sources, we have an opportunity to help our citizens understand what wind energy means to the state. In the United States, renewable energy has often been at the mercy of changing political winds. But non-traditional students believe this is a career with a future. Once I got laid off, I really had to sit down and look at what is it that I wanted to do and what's going to be a business that's still going to be around because a lot of high tech has moved. So I was part of a government retraining program. Basically, I just love to climb things. And when this job came along, I thought, what better place to work than 300 feet off the, off the ground. With students from across the country and a waiting list for enrollment, things may be looking up for wind power. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.